Well, today it's official. As of today, Windows Microsoft Windows XP is no longer supported. After nearly 13 years, Windows XP is gone. And I'm kind of screwed because every computer in my house, with the exception of this laptop, are all running Windows XP. That Dell Dimension 8250 is running Windows XP. My parents' main computer, I forget the company that made it, but it's from 2010, it is running Windows XP. My sister's laptop is running Windows XP, and even I have this laptop dual booted, is running Windows XP on a different partition. So, um, I'm pretty much screwed over. <laughs> um, and so are plenty of other people. As far as, as of like December 2013, 29% of all computers are still running Windows XP. And I know that a lot of businesses, uh, hospitals, schools, and especially banks um, use Windows XP. There's a lot of bank machines and ATMs that are still running Windows XP. Now, I think some companies have been able, are able to get support for a slightly longer period of time, but for most of us, um, this is the end for both Microsoft Windows XP and um, Microsoft Office 2003. Both of those are no longer supported by Microsoft as of today. Um, so, Windows XP will be missed, I'm pretty sure. Um, it's still a great operating system to this day. Um, it's good for just about anything. And you can see that, I mean, it's been around for 13 years almost, and it was just recently that Windows 7 surpassed XP in terms of um, dominance on the market. Um, so this is the end for Windows XP, unfortunately. I'm not very happy about that. But, all good things must come to an end, I guess. And for those of you who really want to cling on to XP, there is Windows Embedded POS Ready 2009, which is basically a stripped-down version of Windows XP, but it's compatible with any program that runs on XP. And... Support for it does not end until April 8th, 2019. So that's five more years of support. So I'm thinking of trying this out and installing it on this computer. Or maybe in a virtual machine on this computer, just to see if I like it enough or not. And maybe I can install it on my uh, other computers so that it won't be quite as prone to security threats. Um, and of course, I mean, I'm very cautious about what I do on the internet, so I barely ever go towards any suspicious websites or emails or anything like that, so I should be good. I'm just more concerned about the rest of my family, who is not quite as tech-savvy as me. Um, and I'm, if I don't install Windows Embedded on my computers, I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to upgrade to Windows 7, which is something I've not wanted to do, but I'm probably going to have to sooner or later. Um, but uh, that's about it. Farewell, Windows XP. You will be missed by many, but life must go on. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.